Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, um, in today's video we are going to take a look and see what are your person's thoughts of you. So what are their current thoughts about you, about the situation you're in, and about the connection you share? It is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's take a look and see what's your person currently thinking about you and the situation you're in. Okay, so... Three of Swords situation, your person is clearly heartbroken over you. They're feeling, they're clearly feeling rejected, um, they're feeling hurt. Um, this is someone who may have hurt you in the past and who may have hurt your relationship and your connection with them. And as a result, this person is feeling really remorseful. They're feeling very regretful. They feel like they stuff things up with you. This is someone who may be an ex or this is someone who may have ghosted you. They may have abandoned you. They may have said or done things to hurt your relationship and your connection with them. And this is someone who clearly wants a second chance with you. This energy is coming up as someone younger than yourself. So there may have been an age gap in your connection. And that age gap was really... Um, I guess illustrated throughout the connection purely because they may you know you guys may have been very similar but also very different in some ways this is someone who still maybe has a lot of growing up and a lot of learning to do it could be someone who they may not necessarily be younger than yourself but they're coming up as this energy who is a little bit emotionally infantile this energy you know that's a little bit emotionally immature someone who Maybe they haven't had a lot of um, long-term relationships. Maybe they've not had a lot of experiences when it comes to, um, I guess, relationships. But this is someone who I feel like still has a lot to learn. Um, so definitely, you know, someone who regrets the way that they've acted with you. Someone who regrets saying things, um, hurting you, hurting the relationship. They feel, it's almost like currently they felt as though... And I don't know which way this is going. Either they feel like they've rejected you and they regret doing that, or they feel like you've walked away from them, okay? If you were the one to have ended and pulled away from the connection, then this is certainly someone who feels really rejected and abandoned by you. This could also be an individual who has um, abandonment issues, someone who, you know, has been hurt in the past, and as a result, this is someone who... Um, maybe was really emotionally triggered by the way things ended. Now with the Seven of Pentacles energy, this is a strong sense of waiting. This person I feel like is waiting to reach out. This person is waiting to connect with you. They're waiting, um, well they're waiting on a lot of things, okay? Notice the multitude of the Pentacles. I feel like they're waiting for the right time. I feel like they're waiting to kind of like gather their thoughts and their feelings. They're also maybe waiting for you to come around. If this person does feel very rejected by you, if they're feeling very hurt and very emotionally triggered, they're probably waiting on you to reach out and respond. Maybe this is someone who tried to communicate with you in the past and they're waiting for your response or they're waiting for you to maybe react. If this is an individual who is giving you silent treatment in your current situation, then this is someone who is, that's their way of trying to get your attention. So they're waiting to, until you respond, until you react, until you reciprocate in some way. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, you've got the moon card clearly depicting a lot of emotional uncertainty, a very strong energy of anxiety, nervousness. This person wants to reach out and communicate with you guys, but this is someone who's nervous and they're scared to do so. I feel like, you know, they're um, a little embarrassed, they're a little ashamed. I also feel like this is someone who feels really um, hurt right now. So maybe they're just not in a position to talk. Maybe they're not um, in a way, like in a good way right now. There's a lot of confusion. I do see that this is someone who is very inconsistent, someone who goes back and forth. This is someone who has been thinking about communicating with you a lot earlier, a lot sooner. But I feel like they've been holding off because remember, you know, 
we, we said earlier that this is someone who's waiting for maybe for you to reach out and contact them per first maybe they're waiting for you to respond or they're waiting for the right time the right circumstances or sometimes you know they say time is a healer perhaps what they're waiting for is enough time to pass until the situation has been hurt you know the heart has been healed um, but a lot of inconsistencies a lot of um, back and forth with this person's energy again wanting to reach out to you but so nervous so scared so not sure of themselves they're not sure whether you're going to reciprocate or whether you're going to reject them this person is scared of being hurt this person is scared of being rejected this isn't someone who's got thick skin okay this is someone who maybe they've been hurt in the past a lot and they just don't want to go through the same emotional experience or maybe the way in things ended for you has really hurt um, has really hurt them okay you've got the hermit which is i feel like which is fitting in this case because this is an individual who is a little bit um not themselves i feel like they're a little quiet they're a little withdrawn um, i see this person spending a lot of time on their own i don't see them going out i don't see them partying i don't see them i don't see a lot of distraction going on the, around this person's energy i feel like they're in their heads a lot i feel like they're going they're doing a lot of thinking notice the you know cyclical um, shape of the moon they're going around and around in circles it's like memories of you are looping um, it's like they're trying to really remember reminisce reminisce a lot of the good times that you've created and shared with one another and notice that the moon card here it's got the sun that engulfs the moon and in the hermit card you have the the wise old man here who is carrying a lantern inside the lantern there is the shape of a star that's being illuminated i feel like the silence here is speaking volumes i feel like your current situation i feel like the universe here is trying to if you're getting signs synchronicities or if you've been thinking about this person a lot lately i feel like there's something here that's being illuminated um, or being illustrated to you now you know this reading is not a one-size-fits-all so it's not going to be fitting for every person so you're going to have to read the signs yourself because those signs are very personal for each and every one of you that are listening right because you're not all dating the same person you're not in the same situation you know you don't have the same energies and the same thing going on so i do think and i think it's not coincidental i think that the universe is trying to communicate something to you especially if you're getting like intuitive associations gut nudges um dreams reoccurring or constant dreams or feelings around this person um, it's saying something right it's saying something okay you've got the king of cups i feel like they're coming across as the king of cups and the king of cups as we all know is um, emotionally stable okay it's um, someone who is wise someone who's got such you know control of his or her emotions so by them not responding to you you're probably thinking you know they're becoming disinterested or they're not at all emotionally affected by this breakup by the silence by the separation that isn't at all the case because remember with the um with the moon card this is um illusions okay this is because of the similar imagery that is happening in the cards here everything is not what it seems so their silence it does not translate to them not being interested or to them not wanting to reconnect or it doesn't translate to them you know um not being affected at all by the separation the disconnection they're coming across as someone who's cool come and collected they may be um, posting social media um like they may be posting um social media posts as normal you know updating photos and looking all happy um in their photos they may be connecting with more people like everything might be it might seem to you from the outside in like everything is normal and they're not they've not been affected at all that's not the truth okay this is someone who um someone who misses you and this is someone who's very hurt i also see this person is very um confused you've got the devil's energy okay so what the two of you do have is um well you know the devil explains it all what this is is very intense okay so much so that the devil obviously speaks to us about addiction so this is an energy that feels very addictive it feels very intoxicated it feels very consuming it could also speak to um could also be speaking to you about this person maybe leaning in on their addiction so maybe this is someone who likes to indulge in something a little bit excessively to the point where you know it is 
a bit of an addiction like maybe this is someone who likes to drink and as a result they may be trying to drink and drown their sorrows okay um, or maybe this is someone who is um, you know they're indulging in some sort of vice to I believe it's to cope with the pain okay so they may be drinking a lot more than usual they may even be like taking um, illegal substance to sort of numb the pain to numb or lessen the pain um, this is someone who is very drawn to you okay they're very drawn to you they're very consumed by you they're very addicted here to your energy okay speaking of drinking you've got the ace of cups i do see drinking in this person's energy i feel like this person is and if normally they're not a drinker guess what they started hitting the bottle um if typically they're a drinker and they like to drink every now and then um if this is an addiction then this has been really um amped up i see it being really amplified I also see that this person's energy, Ace of Cups, um, you know, Three of Swords, this is someone who's got a lot going on emotionally. I feel like this isn't someone who is handling their emotions. Um, you know, they like to appear as a King of Cups, but it just feels like this person doesn't know how to manage their emotions. If they did, they would be communicating with you right now. They tell you what's bothering them, they tell you what's on their mind, but you're not getting that, are you? what else do you need to know okay you've got the seven of cups seven of cups i feel like again is sort of you know um talking speaking to us about the illusion okay so i feel like this person is presenting one image they're acting one way but then another so again on social media they may be updating their posts they may be living their life as if they've not been affected by this breakup or by this disconnection or separation um, but indeed they are. I'm also seeing that they're very confused. This person doesn't know what they want. If they did, they would be with you, right? They would be with you, you'd be in a relationship. I mean, they want you, but how do they go about it, right? They've hurt you, they've hurt the relationship, or, you know, whatever happened, happened. Um, so how do they fix this? How do you just slip back to what you had? There's a lot of uncertainty. They're very confused. And this, to me, it feels like they're emotionally scattered okay their energy is going this way that way any which way they don't know what's going on they're not doing very well without you let me tell you that okay maybe just a few more cards okay queen of pentacles this is someone who cares for you this is someone who i see them nurturing something you've given them i feel like if you've gifted this person a um like a ring or a watch or I don't know it could be something something small something that they could hold in the palm of their hand this is someone who you know holds this object in their hand very often and they think of you so every time they think of you every time they miss you they caress this object whether it's a ring or whether it's like a pendant or could even be like a tie I, I don't know um, a photo frame something that they um, it just reminds them of you maybe even your per favorite perfume bottle okay it's come out in reverse so judgment in reverse i don't think this person is judging the situation um, logically i feel like this person is um, like their emotions have clearly clouded their judgment which is why they can't necessarily see a way forward they're feeling very over overwhelmed there's no you know they're not expressing their emotions they're not processing their emotions they're not handling their emotions now two of pentacles yeah we do have this inconsistent energy right the cards keep um repeating this it just feels like this um you know maybe they've lied to you okay uh, maybe they you know they're one way to your face and another behind your back maybe this is someone who whose words didn't necessarily match up with their actions so a lot of inconsistencies i feel like this person is in a loop right now either their memories as i've mentioned earlier are looping in their mind or either this person is just really like in their head about when they when they should reach out to you and this is person is like preempting what you might say or how the situation might unfold so this is someone who's really in their head I feel like it's driving like they're driving themselves crazy i'm also seeing that there is such an imbalance in the energies and i don't know if that's because the power dynamics have shifted i don't know if there's just you guys are completely out of sync and out of alignment with one another but there's a clear imbalance in the energies which is why you know you have this separation disconnection or you know whatever this whatever you'd like to call this phase between you and this individual 
So, you know, you, I feel like the energy shifted. In your favour or in their favour, I guess you decide, but definitely a strong shift of energies. Alright, and these are your messages. Thanks guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Bye.